Hello everyone, this is Reza from iApp Judgment. Today I want to do a review on a task management app on both iPad and iPhone version uh, which is called OmniFocus. This app allows you to organize your tasks and basically it's a to-do app which syncs over on the cloud uh, on your both, de both devices. Um, either you can also run it on your Mac but today we are going over iPad version and the iPhone version and how to sync these two together and what are the nice features in it which I have the OmniFocus right here I don't know if you can see it and also on my iPhone so let's take a look at that okay everyone let's take a look at the OmniFocus on the iPad there's a f main p uh, page on the OmniFocus. Basically, it really looks like uh, the UI looks like your email. So you have your bar here, uh, which you have, we start off here, you have your quick entry, which is pretty big and bold, uh, your inbox, projects, context, map, forecast, flag, review. Over on top here, you have your uh, gear button which is mostly settings and help basically when you buy this app it comes with some projects with which is basically your help and it does have a great help so you never get to the point that you stuck somewhere so this is great and then you get to your projects which basically the cool thing is you can create your folders which is in like blue color here I have like personal school YouTube and all those stuff inside the folders you can create another folder and that's a, another nice feature you can open the folder you have with the gray color you have your projects inside projects you have your actions which you can check mark them and organize them so this is a really cool way of organizing your task you can also uh, put here expand all then you have open all of your projects and collapse all which close all so this is really nice feature and it's really easy to organize your stuff uh, especially because the iPad it has a big screen so the, this app takes the advantage of the iPad's big screen. The other cool thing is you have a undo button right here which is really helpful sometimes you do mistakes. You have your this is the I button you can add this like you can uh, say like show me all of my tasks even though I'm done with it or I've done it uh, remaining available next action next action means if you have multiple actions in one project it just shows you one at a time and as soon as you've done that it goes to the next one this is a cool thing too and then you have your search if you have a lot of tasks a lot of actions you can search them and you have entry button you can like entry the new project new folder or quick entry and then inside the like for example new project you can type the name on top right there and the type you can have like uh, any of these like parallel which is like tasks that you have to do at the same time or single action doesn't really matter which one you do all this stuff and you can have like active on hold completed dropped you can add a context here and the other cool thing is if you haven't made a context which is a place or something like that ahead of time you can actually type it here and then there's nothing then it says create that thing that you type so you can right there create a new context and add it to your project and then you can move your project to any of your folders you've created and you can set a date start and this is a cool feature that here you have like plus one day plus one week or month that you just tap and then it's easier sometimes to get to the um, date you want 
and faster and basically this app all is about how fast you do you write your tab uh, tasks sorry about that and basically you don't want to waste a lot of time on it and you have your notes and one of the really cool features is you can attach your photo or audio and this is really time saving which you can add the audio and you can delete we can delete that basically the other thing is you have your bar here you can see these are my folders inside I have my projects and then if I tap I see my actions right here so and this is a quick entry if you don't put any project any contest it just straight goes to inbox later on you can change it you can add context just for viewing it better sorry and you have your map you can assign a map location based on your context which if you see here I have a couple of different contexts in different places and it shows me each place if I have any uh, tasks right there that's another cool thing and the forecast you have basically the date so this is today tomorrow Friday Saturday or future or past that's a cool thing and then flagged when you flag it it's basically like you star it or you flag it whatever you want to call it you do that and then it just comes there and review you just review what uh, you've done the task so when you review it you reviewed how you did it basically and another thing is basically we are over that the other thing is the syncing so this is the only app I found that has cloud syncing with your iPad version Mac version and iPhone version basically what it does you can do a if you see here you can do a manual syncing through Wi-Fi you can do a syncing all your devices as long as you have the Mac version you can do a cloud syncing if you're like me don't have the Mac version then you need the mobile me account then you can sync through mobile me from your iPad to iPhone or iPhone to iPad so that's a really neat feature so let me quickly go ahead and show you guys the iPhone version this is my iPhone and here's the app we can go to home it's really hard to do it on the camera okay there is same thing inbox projects context due soon overdue which is basically instead of having the forecast they just added they didn't have room basically they just added do you soon which is like you can set how long from now is do you soon or overdue which is you haven't done it and it's overdue and flag then the search you go to project I have same folders I have the same task because I'm syncing through my mobile me account and you have your map and basically when I click on this button it shows me where I am right now and what are the tasks that based on my location I have to do and I can uh, refresh for syncing I can all do basically you can do all of the things that you could do on your iPad so I'm not going over all of them and basically this is the review of the Omni Focus and you can uh, download the iPad version for nine, I believe, thirty nine ninety nine, and the iPhone version for nineteen ninety nine. It is a bit pricey, so if you are not uh, planning on paying that much, I suggest you go ahead and buy the app called To Do, which does almost the same thing as these two these like the omnifocus is 499 the only thing is the syncing it doesn't have the syncing and some of the fancy features which still does the job another thing i quickly have to show you basically uh i don't know if you have seen the insta paper but on a website if you go over 
uh, I don't know like Apple dot com if you go on a website for example Apple and you want the link to be saved on your task instead of just copying the link and paste it on your task you go ahead you have to basically set up and it's super easy they just on OmniFocus they just tell you how to set up all this stuff you bookmark it and you basically go ahead and I have it already sent to here OmniFocus I click on that it basically opens OmniFocus the title of my task or action is right here same as the title of the website over at the note, I have my link of the website and I can go ahead and add the content and project and dates and all those stuff. So it's really, really easy to use and I totally recommend it to people who want to spend $39.99 and $19.99 for the iPhone version. If not, I recommend the to-do app. Thanks for watching. This is Reza from iAppJudgment. Judgment. See you next time.